Hey guys, quick video. Hope this encourages you today. I was thinking about joy. How powerful joy is. Nehemiah says the joy of the Lord is our strength. So God's joy <laughs> is our strength. It says that in his presence, Psalm 1611, is fullness of joy. And at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. Sometimes our minds can get programmed and we don't automatically think of God being full of joy, of bliss. You know, it says that God in Hebrews 1, that God anointed Jesus with the oil of gladness more than any other man. <laughs> God's gladness, God's joy. Joy produced by the Spirit of God. In the book of Acts, they're suffering, but it says they were full of the Spirit and they had joy. Colossians 1, pray, Paul prays that we'd be strengthened with His glorious power, with all patience and endurance, with joy. Count it all joy when you go into various trials. James 1. God is full of joy. And as you start to walk with him and experience him and you get to know him, his joy starts to be released within you. And that's your strength. <laughs> and it's beyond any, it's, it, it's not according to circumstances. It's produced by a living being that is full of it. And it's, First Peter says that the joy of the Lord, that joy, this joy is inexpressible. <laughs> and full of glory. God's joy is full of his glory. So I encourage you today, ask God, reveal to me your joy, Lord. I wanna know it. Give me a revelation. <laughs> Give me a revelation of your joy. <laughs> Produce that joy in me, Lord. And may it flow so powerfully out of me that it touches those around me. Love you guys.